In this video, we'll talk about the cabinet manufacturer catalogs, where to get them, and how to use them. As you can see here, I have the Kemper Cabinets catalog downloaded and installed in my library browser. This is a cabinet manufacturer that not only has the basics like door styles and finishes, they also have other options like embellishments, corbels, molding, and valances. Different manufacturers will have different options, but in this video we'll focus on the door and drawer styles, finishes, and moldings. First, where to go to get additional catalogs for your library browser. If you go to the bottom of the browser here, you will find the Get Additional Content Online button. When you click on this, it will link you to the Chief Architect website and to the 3D Library page. If we click here on the Cabinets category, you can see that we have over 50 options for cabinet designs and catalogs. Most of these are manufacturer catalogs, like American Woodmark and Aristocrat Cabinetry. To download the one you want, click on the down arrow here and then select the Chief Architect version you are using. Now different web browsers will handle the downloads differently. I am using Chrome and in Chrome it will show me the download process down here at the bottom left corner. If I click on the up arrow, it will give me several options. Open, always open files of this type, show in folder, or cancel. I will select Always Open Files of This Type. Once I click Open or This, it will automatically start the import process in Chief Architect. When I minimize the web browser page, in a moment the information box that says it has successfully imported will pop up. Now you can find your new catalog in the library browser under Manufacturer Catalogs. If the installation process does not start up automatically after downloading the file, Go to the Library drop-down menu to Import Library. All manufacturer catalogs will import into the Manufacturer Catalog folder. If it was not a manufacturer catalog, it will show up in the Chief Architect Bonus Catalogs. Now we can start using the design options in this catalog in our cabinets. Under the Manufacturer Catalogs, we'll scroll down to find our Homecrest catalog. Different manufacturers may have their products laid out differently in their folders, so make sure to explore each one carefully. Here in Camera View, we can start using these options on our cabinets. To apply a door style to a cabinet, you can simply click on the door style you want and then click on the cabinet you want to place it in. You can see that my cursor now has the Replace from Library icon on it. Then I can click on one of the coordinated drawer fronts and click on the drawer to replace it. As a kitchen and bath designer, you will want to be aware of the cabinet box sizes available by the manufacturer. Do they provide standard sizes or can they provide custom sizes? In Chief Architect, I can change this cabinet to be any size I want, but that box size may not be available by a specific manufacturer. The same goes for the door and drawer sizes. This full height cabinet has a door that is 67 and a half inches high. That is not likely a standard door size and may not be available by your chosen manufacturer. You will need to be familiar with the manufacturer's products that you are working with. Now, let's take a look at manufacturer finishes available. Under each manufacturer catalog, there will be finishes folder, like this here called wood type and finishes. First, I want to select the type of wood I want to use. I'll select the hickory wood type. When you select any material in the library browser, it will automatically activate the Material Painter tool. So then I can simply click on the cabinet to apply the material. Note that when you have the Material Painter tool activated, you will have different mode options down here in the sub tool bar. Right now it is set to paint only one component of the cabinet. So it has applied the hickory wood grain to just the door panel. If I change it to paint the whole object, it will apply the material to everything on that object that is currently this color. So it has changed everything on the cabinet that was originally white to the hickory wood. If I had selected the room mode, it would change everything in the room that was originally white to the hickory wood. Notice here that it has changed the baseboard to wood. That's because it was originally the same color as the cabinets. 
If I had set it to floor mode, it would change everything on this floor level. And in plan mode, it would change everything in the entire plan that was originally the white to the hickory wood. Now we can go into the hickory finishes folder and select a stain color. I'll select this Karoo color. Now there is another mode that you can use with the material painter. If you select a flat color that is not using any texture like wood grain, stones, or tile, you have the option to paint just the solid flat color. Or, if you click on this tool that looks like a paint roller, it will change the tool to the Blend Color with Material tool. Then, when you click on an existing texture, like this wood grain, it will keep the texture and simply stain it with the color. Once you have the cabinet looking the way you want it, you can set this cabinet and all of its characteristics as the default base cabinet by selecting it and then click on the Set as Default tool here in the Edit toolbar at the bottom. That will change all of the base cabinets that are still following the defaults to match this cabinet. And when you place a new cabinet, it will be identical to this one. Now if you want, you can make the same changes to the wall cabinets and the full height cabinets. You can do that by using the same process, or open the Cabinet Specification dialog. I'll double-click on one of the wall cabinets and open the Cabinet Specification dialog and make those changes here. I'll change the door style to the same style that I used in the base cabinets. And then open the Materials panel and select all of the components that say Color Bright. You can do this by selecting one of the components, then hold down your control key and select the others. Then click on the Select Material button. Go to the Plan Materials and scroll down to find the Hickory Painted Karoo. You will find all of the materials that have already been used in the plan under Plan Materials. Now we'll set this cabinet and all of its characteristics as the default wall cabinet. All of the existing wall cabinets that are following the defaults will change. One more thing you may want to do when using a specific manufacturer is open the Cabinet Specification dialog. Go into the Object Information panel and type the manufacturer's name here in the Manufacturer field. You can also add a macro in here that is the symbol for registered trademark. Now when I create a cabinet schedule, it will call out the manufacturer. You can create a cabinet schedule right here in the floor plan view. However, I like mine on a separate detail page. You can create a new detail page by clicking on the CAD drop-down menu and click on CAD Detail Management. I'll click on New to create a new detail page and name it Cabinet Schedule and click OK. A detail page is saved as part of the plan but it will not show up in your floor plan. You can open the detail pages through your project browser here under CAD Details. You see here my cabinet schedule page. Just double click on it to open it up. This is where I like to keep all of my schedules so that I can send them to layout individually where I need them. While this detail page is displayed, I will go to the Tools drop down menu to Schedules and Cabinet Schedule. Notice that only this base cabinet has the manufacturer called out, but the other cabinets do not. So I'll go back to my floor plan and select all cabinets by using the Active Tool Selection mode. Zoom out so that you can see all of the cabinets. Then click on the Full Height Cabinet Tool. Hold down your Shift key and draw a selection box around all of the cabinets. That will select all of the cabinets. If you had selected the base cabinet tool, it would have selected only base cabinets. If I select the wall cabinet tool, it will select only wall cabinets. But with the full height cabinet tool active, it will select all cabinets. Now use the open object tool in the edit toolbar at the bottom to open the cabinet specification dialog. Then go into the object information panel, type in the manufacturer's name, and add the macro. 
When I go back to the cabinet schedule, you can see that it automatically updated all of the cabinets to show the manufacturer's name. Some of the manufacturers also provide other design options for their cabinets, such as decorative ornaments, corbels, and molding. You can use the molding option, similar to the doors and drawers, by selecting the molding and then clicking on the cabinet. Notice again that my cursor has changed to the Replace from Library icon. That means that it will replace a molding already on the cabinet, like this crown molding. However, if I try to add a light rail molding, it won't be able to because I don't have an existing one in place. So, I will need to go to the Cabinet Specification dialog by double-clicking on the cabinet, go to the Moldings panel, click on Add New, then browse to where your manufacturer's catalog is and select a molding. Click OK. Then I will need to offset it vertically to the bottom of the cabinet. This cabinet is 48 inches high, so I will need to set the vertical offset to 48 inches. Click OK. Now if I want to add the molding to the other wall cabinets, I can use the Object Eyedropper tool. I'll click on the Object Eyedropper tool, click on the cabinet that I have finished, then, here in the Subtools toolbar at the bottom, click on the Select Properties to Paint button. I'll clear all of the properties here and then scroll down to find Molding. Click OK and then apply those properties to each of these cabinets. Chief Architect gives us many, many design options for our cabinets and has partnered with many cabinet manufacturers to make it easier to design kitchens and bath with real-life products.